Germany, April 14, 1561. At dawn, the citizens of Nuremberg awoke to what was described in a local news flyer as a very frightful spectacle. Various strange objects were spotted in the sky, engaged in what appeared to be an aerial battle. Could they have been witnessing a close encounter? They see this incredible sight as the sun is coming up. They see what they describe as cigar-shaped objects, circles in the air, and crosses, flying crosses. And suddenly, these shapes began emitting other shapes. The spheres and disks were seen for a long time as they apparently were fighting in some kind of a battle over the city. In fact, the battle was so evident that the people in Nuremberg were actually able to perceive which side was winning. Some of the objects were seen to crash into the ground and disappear in a cloud of smoke or steam. Other objects were seen to fly off and disappear in the direction of the sun. This entire event becomes memorialized in a broadsheet. Now, a broadsheet in the 16th century was literally a newspaper. And that broadsheet exists today in Zurich, Switzerland. The Zurich Central Library to this day retains a copy not only of the famous woodcut that shows the 1561 sighting over Nuremberg, but also a 1566 woodcut showing a sighting from that year that was quite similar in Basel, Switzerland. What's fascinating is it's a very similar event. People saw a bunch of circles in the air. In fact, a proliferation of circles in the air. They didn't necessarily interpret that as a battle in the air, but they did interpret it as some kind of heavenly sign. The broadsheets that were distributed both in Nuremberg and in Basel five years later advised people to repent for their sins and interpreted these extraordinary events as signs from God. In old time, everything paranormal, extra, extra, hyphen, ordinary, belongs to the realm of divinity, of God. God is doing this. God is punishing us. God is blessing us. Go repent. Go to church. It's interesting to read the Nuremberg description because it is written with religious iconography in mind. They talk about crosses seen in the sky on the previous day during that sighting. Now, what we might think of as a fuselage with wings might have appeared as a cross to people who saw religious symbolism constantly in their everyday life. It's difficult to imagine how these things might have appeared, but it's certainly possible that if these were to appear in the sky today, we would describe them quite differently. Could the people of Nuremberg have actually witnessed a battle between warring alien factions? An event eerily similar to the one written about in the Bhagavad Gita over 3,000 years earlier. And if not, what else would explain the vivid accounts of luminous globes and blood-red crosses appearing in the sky?